We have for the past decade really been working with surrogate endpoints for our ablations. Because of the diamond temp system and its unique features, we can now bring back biophysical parameters that we know are important and we know that matter for uh, lesion formation. Prior to diamond temp system, what we do is we would rely on intracardiac echo, touch the tissue, make sure there's contact force, and we dump in current and power, uh, almost up to 50 watts, and hope that the lesion is formed. If you're just delivering power, you can deliver just the right amount, but you can just as easily deliver too little, or you can just as easily deliver too much. The question is, how do we get it just right? and that's where we have to bring temperature back into the equation. Lesions are created with heat. If you understand the temperature at the tissue level, you understand the lesion. We're no longer going to use the surrogate endpoints that we were using before. We can now look at true tissue parameters, such as the achieved temperature, impedance, drops, and electrogram reduction. I don't think that people are going to miss the contact force information much as long as they understand what they get from the electrograms and other ablation generator parameters. To me, the most important aspect that it brings in terms of safety is the very quick feedback we have from the tissue itself. When you start your ablation, you will quickly see if you have optimal contact because that temperature should hit 50 degrees or 55 degrees within the first second of your ablation. And if it's not, you have the opportunity to adjust, flex, clock, counterclock, just by tiny amounts to optimize the temperature that you're getting. It does give you a lot of confidence when those lesions form because you see the electrograms go away really quickly, which is a good feeling for every electrophysiologist. In the past, uh, we've had this great heterogeneity of our lesionings, and at times you get these really big lesions, other times you get these really small lesions. It's the thermal energy, that's what creates uh, an effective lesion, or any lesion, is, is the temperature. And so, uh, you know, being able to directly measure the temperature and know what's happening at the tissue level is a, uh, a great leap forward in our ability to understand lesioning. And if we reach the desired temperature, the power automatically dials down. There's a safety check mechanism there where, where the tissue won't heat up too much because the amount of current has already gone down because the power has decreased. I think the biggest benefit to patients in using any new technology has to be, is the procedure going to be more efficient? And with diamond temp ablation, we know that it is. Look at the clinical data, you know, 80% you know, success rate that's as good as we've seen in any of our you know, FDA-approved ablation technologies. And so um, if, if you can achieve that with, with that efficacy and that safety, I think everybody wants that for their patients. The Diamond Temp catheter is truly one of the best designed catheters for high power, short duration applications. It's the only system that gives you temperature at the tissue level, which is the information that you most want as an electrophysiologist. The diamond temp ablation system is a significant step forward for cardiac ablation.